Hey guys, hello and welcome to Zen Innovations and today's topic is fan repairing and this guide is going to be applicable to wall fans or side fans like these as well as to table fans and pedestal fans. So for an example, I have a pretty old fan from Crompton Greaves and this kind of problem is very common and internet is flooded with complaints. So what happens? Let's check that. So using this switch, I'll turn on the fan. And here as you can see that the fan does not turn and if you listen very carefully there is a faint humming noise coming from the motor. So that is how it sounds. Let's turn this thing off because it's not good to run the fan. I mean to keep it on in this kind of condition in this jammed condition. So what I'll do is I'll undo this fan and get it down. By that time you guys hit that nice little like and subscribe buttons down below. And let's begin the repairing process. Guys, so we got this fan down to the workbench. And as per my initial diagnosis, I can see that at least this fan is not jammed. So I can very easily spin this thing up. So in absence of that problem, the next step would be to open this cover and check out the motor inside so let's do that so guys i have flipped this fan around and to open this motor cover i can see that there's a flathead screw over here and to open this kind of screw i'm going to use this regular flathead screwdriver so let's undo the screw and take a look inside Guys, after opening the cover, I took a look inside and there's nothing majorly wrong with this. So the wiring is all right. The connections are firm, nothing wrong with that. So usually at this point, the culprit is this capacitor. So some people call it a condenser, some people call it a capacitor. And the life of these capacitors is usually somewhere around five to six years. And after that, these capacitors become weak. So the default value of this capacitor is, as you can see over here, 2.5 MFD. So what we'll do is we'll remove this and test it on the multimeter. And hopefully by replacing the capacitor with the same value, our problem should be solved. Guys, so here is the capacitor which we were talking about and let's test it using this multimeter and the facility to test capacitors is on good branded multimeters. So if you want to buy a multimeter like this, then buying links will be waiting for you in a description below. So let's use the probe and let's take a reading of this old capacitor. So I'll place it like so. You can connect it anyways because these AC capacitors don't have any polarity, but there's one golden tip which I'll offer. So this is the probe, it goes over here and the second probe goes over here. And as you might have noticed, the value which we see is uh, very less and the advertised value is uh, somewhere around 2.5 UF. But what we see is 0.8 UF and this shows that the capacitor has become weak and hence it should be replaced. And if you've been paying attention towards these probes, then what I've done is I'm not touching any of these wires. Because human body has a bit of capacitance and if I touch these wires, then the reading will change. So that is 0.8 UF and this capacitor is toast. Let's replace it. And guys, to replace this capacitor, I'll be using one from my capacitor collection. So this small cute little collection which I have. And let's get a similar one. And it is very important that the capacitor which you replace has the same value. So this one has the same value that is 2.5 UF. For a good measure, let's test it using the same multimeter and let's see what kind of readings do we get on the display. So here goes the probe. So that's one probe over there. That's the second probe. And by focusing on the display. And there we go. So it takes a bit of time for the capacitor to handle its charge. And the advertised value was 2.5 UF, but this particular capacitor is providing somewhere around 2.2 UF. 
which is slightly weaker but yeah it is close enough and it will help us repair the fan so this is what i'm going to install today After installing the capacitor, I thought that let's test it before we put this cover back. So I have plugged it in over here in this main socket. Let's turn it on momentarily. You can see the fan has started spinning. And I'm not going to use it much. I'm going to put this cover back and then we can finalize the installation. Guys, the fan is back in its place and the time has come to test it out. So in 3, 2, 1. And here we can see that this experiment has been a massive success. The fan is working very well. Guys, if you want to see repair videos like these ones, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. And there's a whole playlist waiting for you in the description below. Make sure to go ahead and check it out. So that's it for this little video, guys. I hope you liked it. Take care and have a nice day.